Ghana has made history mm. and it's, it's worth celebrating this, isn't it? We are telling our own story Absolutely. for Africans as Indeed. well. Indeed, and setting the pace for the others to follow. And this is what we're talking about with the former special representative and head of the United Nations office, Dr. Mohamed Ibn Chamba, saying persistent racism of Africans can be corrected if the continent is able to preserve its rich cultural heritage and also tell our own story the best way possible. He was speaking at the launch of the Pan-African Digital Heritage Museum here in Accra, the first in the world. The Pan-African Heritage World Museum being constructed in Ghana has launched the first ever digital museum in the world. The digital museum aims at preserving Africa's rich cultural heritage the Digital Museum is dedicated to sharing the true story of Africa and its people. The launch coincided with the UNESCO declared African World Heritage Day. The African World Heritage Day is an opportunity for people of the world and particularly Africans to celebrate the continent's unique cultural and natural heritage. Former Special Representative and Head of UN Office Dr. Mohamed Ibn Chambas says Africa can only assume its rightful place in the group in the global space if it is able to protect its pan-african heritage and culture for some years to come we are today renewing our collective resolve and duty to revive and sustain pan-african heritage we are engaging in an active restoration of a legacy that has been consistently diminished and delegitimized we are reminded time again that the renaissance of Pan-African heritage is imperative. Founder and executive chairman of the Pan-African Heritage World Museum, Dr. Kojo Yanka noted the project is a way to revive and sustain Pan-African heritage. Through our digital museum, we are offering two parts of our rich heritage to the world. In the third gallery, we jump over our narrative and give the world a glimpse of the contemporary Pan-African community, which is spread in all corners of the world. By entering our digital museum and inviting others to do likewise, you are not only adding to your wealth of knowledge about the world, you will be contributing to create a better humanity. Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Mark Okwekumante, believes the Pan-African Digital Museum will be a platform to educate generations of Africans both on the continent and diaspora. Apart from the fact that it is going to bring some revenues to the owner of the platform, it's also going to serve as a promotional material where people can see even before they get attracted to want to come physical. So for us, it is good news. It's going to be used for promotion for tourism in Ghana.